Hello everybody and welcome back to a late episode of It's Always Sunny in Birmingham. I'm always here with my co-host Alex. Because Jamie forgot he had a job interview next week, not this week. And my co-host Alex, uh, whiny little bitch, 97. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Uh, introduction to the no format. We've already, we already, we already did that last week. Well, I'm sorry. Well, I'll get rid of that then. <laughs> uh, okay. what, 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 have you, what have you been playing this week? Uh, I'll start. I've been playing um, Binding of Isaac on the Switch. I've just passed the amount of hours I have on Isaac that I do in Zelda. Um, I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Well, I, mean... I say playing. We'll come on to that point later. Oh, and also, uh, moving on to News 1, part of uh, what I've been playing this week, we've been playing the Splatoon 2 Testfire for the Nintendo Switch. Which wasn't that bad, actually. It was fun. It had a couple of gripes with it, but... Yeah, no, I mean, it was... It was, was your general opinion? It felt more polished than what we played at um, the event. Yeah. And definitely having like a good few hour sessions with it really let me understood that this is kind of the game that I could definitely, like Call of Duty or something like that, like just sink a whole afternoon into. Yeah, I, I wish the um, be open beta allowed us to play with friends. That would have been quite cool. But I would have liked to have seen how the friend system works on um, the Switch because obviously that's quite a big part of the whole game. Well, yeah. apart, apart from that, no, you're right. It was. I mean, so I it didn't crash, it worked. It worked. I, I had fun. There was no frame rate issues. Recently, Digital Boundary came out. and It is 720p, but I didn't really see... Like, I, I, we play ours on like a big 4K monitor, uh, 4K TV. And even doubt, like, so, you know, normally lower quality content doesn't look that great. But what do you think it looked like graphically at 720p on the screen? Well, I played most of it, to be far honest, on the handheld mode, and I'm, it looks really, really beautiful. Like. So, the handheld has dynamic resolution, so it wasn't always 720p. It would drop to, like... I think it was 590 or something. It still looks good. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's good. It was, it was good enough to play. With Nintendo, you're always going to have to accept, especially uh, this time around, that if uh, we are going to get these games, it's not going to be like to 1080p 60fps standard most of the time. And that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take back what I said about Mario. I reckon that's going to be 720p 60fps. Yeah, that will be, because it, it, it... Nintendo, yeah, it will be. That, no, we will wait to say it will be because it just will be, because... I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, the system is a lot uh, a lot more weaker than people uh, expected it to be. But at the end of the day, are the games really fun? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are. What? Splatoon was fun. Mario's going to be fun. probably going to be amazing. It was more... F Splatoon 2 beta was fun than all the time I played with Battlefield 1. I haven't touched Battlefield 1 in about four or five months. Battlefield 1 is just like the exact opposite of Splatoon 2. It's a really, really graphically pretty game. But, uh, empty. but kind of empty feeling. Yeah. Number two, the Xbox Scorpio is rumoured. I want to say when I say rumoured, I know we don't like to comment on rumours. This was rumoured by someone who's reputable within the source. He's got lots of things right before. Mm. It's going to release at six hundred Great British pounds, which I think. Dude. Um, <laughs> which in dollars is if my crappy internet. Oh works, no, 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 dude, dude, dude! If it's six hundred pounds, it's six hundred dollars. No, it's going to be 600, it's going to be about, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how it works. I, I reckon we're getting the short end of the stick here, but either way, it's still going to be outrageously expensive. Um, I really hope it's not this, because I was hoping Scorpio would shake the, uh, shake the industry up a bit. You know, or Xbox just to do something good for once. In the, like, last four years. I don't see... But I... £600 is not going to sell at all. I mean, it's obviously going to sell some, but it's going to be... I mean, funny, £600, I'd rather just buy a GTX 1080. That is literally the price of a GTX 1080. I can do 4K on that. And, and the, the rest of your system's only going to cost you like 500 quid. If that. Like 200 for the mobile, it's 200 for the um, uh, CPU. You don't even need a 1080. Um, it all comes... There's no point in wasting around. There's no point in talking about this, because let's be honest, I don't mind paying 600 quid for it if it has loads of good games, but right now it doesn't look like it does, so there's no point of getting it. And it would have to be exclusives that don't, you know... It, I, I, I'm not going to buy it just to play multi-platform games at, uh, at real 4K instead of checkerboard 4K. Because checkerboard 4K looks fine on the PS4 Pro, and if I want real 4K, I'll just buy a 1080. Yeah. Which is what, which is what we're doing. Which is what we're doing. Um, um, because we're single uh, and we don't have... Uh, we are expendable. <laughs> Some of us are single, some of us aren't actually single. Well, yeah, so. if you, you know, that would, wouldn't guess. 
GameStop, um, I know it's a US story, but I still want to talk about it. GameStop in the US are going to be closing 150 shops and they're blaming a lack of AAA games last year. Um, I, even though we've never sh- I've, I've shopped a GameStop twice in my life when I was in America, I've never heard anyone say anything positive about them. They're kind of like the game of America. Well, like, no- game is a lot better in the UK, I've found. Like, it's not great, but it's a lot better. Okay. It doesn't. I mean, I'm sad that people are gonna be losing their jobs, but I'm not sad because they kind of just, GameStop <laughs> kind of deserve this. Well, like they say, lack of AAA games last year, but there was quite a few AAA game, games last year. I think the problem is Amazon. From what I've read online, Reddit and stuff, Amazon's new pre-order programs been undercutting them massively. Yes. Yeah, you get like twenty percent off if you're Amazon Prime. Which in that itself, is insane. That I fucking want that in England. <laughs> When, but yeah. when they're going to roll that out to us, you know what we get? We get a pound off. Wow. So rich. In that six months, I can afford a pizza. Um, the next piece of news, Call of Duty World War 2, well, literally called Call of Duty World War 2 has been leaked in inverted commas, basically confirming that the next Call of Duty is going to be World War 2, boots on the ground, probably with jetpacks and some shit. Um, I don't know, it could be interesting. I think multiplayer is going to suck if that's the case. Because I, I, think, I, I think if they're going realistic World War 2 and like Battlefield 1 did, because Battlefield 1 had to take a load of liberties to make the multiplayer fun. Yeah, it kind of like... Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember that many sub, sub-automatic weapons in World War I think it was called like hyper-reality, wasn't it? Where they like take the reality but then they just twist it so it is like not just trench warfare kind of thing. Yeah, pretty much. Um. I'll be interested because this one's rumored to be coming out on the Switch. Um, I'll be in, if it's World War Two and the multi. I forget the campaign because the campaign's always all the campaign's never anything special, but it's not. Ah, Black Ops was pretty good. No, in the sense that you don't buy the games for campaign. Uh, no, 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 you don't, you don't go out. But it's, it's normally like a nice surprise. Like Infinite Warfare had a really good campaign. True, but like multiplayer. If the multiplayer for me. It's boots on the ground, World War era type of gameplay, but better looking. I would be tempted to actually buy the game for some multiplayer again for the first time. I haven't bought a Call of Duty game since Black Ops 2. Yeah, Black Ops 2. Yeah. It was the last Call of Duty game I bought. And yeah, I, no, that, I think that was the last one I had, yeah, because I got PS4. I got Ghosts with my Xbox One when it launched, but I didn't play it, I just sold it because I didn't want to play it, it was awful. Ghost was okay, it wasn't the best. Um, okay, Reggie Fox, uh, in Fox's ever l- loving bid to stay relevant, were, you know, pouring onto the sides of media as they fall in a burning fire, they decided to, you know, they did more video game related stuff, and one of those things they did was to interview our very own Reggie Fields Emmy, uh, obviously known as uh, Papa Reggie of the Nintendo Corporation, about E3, and all that Reggie really had to say about E3 was, it's gonna be big. big. Yeah. It's gonna be big. It's gonna have both Switch and 3DS titles, and people are getting pissed about it. But come on, like, games take two to five years to develop. Easily. And if that's the case, there are a load of 3DS games that are finished right now that need to be released. And there's. That's probably being ported over to the Switch. And there's bound to be quite a few that are um, one or two years off. I think it's around the 2019 that we're gonna see very, very little 3DS stuff. I think next year will be like... The mm, dep- depends, on, dep- depends on how Switch sells. Right, at the current rate... Because this is the current rate, they're saying like... Um, what was it? Reggie was saying in the same interview that current, every day he goes into the office and it's like breaking new records or something. Oh yeah, no, it's like insane. It's uh, like... Kimishima, um is pretty, pretty confident. He, he has this weird idea that it's going to sell as much as the Wii. Like, I doubt that. Unless they're, pl- unless they're planning on doing a £100 price drop next year. I think, no, unless they both do that, and... Yeah, unless they do that, and I, it could do if it has all the games. I mean... What people need to understand is that we didn't sell because it was a great console, that we sold because it was cheap, and yeah. because it, it hit, hit a market that didn't... E- that is now currently taken up by mobile phone gamers. Yeah. 
So it's very unlikely people are going to make the swap again. I'm, I'm saying like 40 to 60 million most likely lifetime sales, you know, very respectable number for someone sort of that's, you know, in the middle of a generation with the PS4 um, uh, Pro and the Scorpio, and obviously probably... The... It will do, I think it'll easily do 3DS um, sales. Yeah. Like easily it'll be the 3DS. Um, it'll definitely beat the Wii game, Wii U and GameCube. Um, yeah. I think probably could do. Here's a question: Will it beat Xbox One live sales? <laughs> By the time the Xbox One goes off sale in let's say four or five years, what's the will... Xbox One's about half of the PS4 right now, right? 20, 20 million. It's twenty-nine million. Twenty-nine million. Um, I think so. Unless Xbox does something like really cool, and I doubt they will, considering they're like they're basically gambling all their chips on Scorpio. Yeah. I think they're good. Okay. Um, Assassin's Creed TV series is done in the works. Is that a TV TV series or a Netflix original? They don't know yet. Okay. But I'm not really worried because the film was not. Amazing. See, I like anyway, but it's awful. And, 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 and I've watched it recently. I'm like, it's not awful. It's just not really much to say. The thing is, it doesn't. Yeah, I think video games things are cursed. Yeah, what are you talking about? Hitman, Silent Zap, Assassin's like the best film I've ever seen. <laughs> oh yeah, Hitman's got a pretty good film, but that's because it's not really that true to the film. Probably with Assassin's Creed, it tried to stay really true that to was, the book. That was a joke. I was, uh, if you're on about the, if you're on, uh, sure. I like the Hitman film. Well, the, mod, the, mod, the modern one or the original? Because I'm on about the modern one. <laughs> Oh, I was talking about the original. No, the yeah, no, no. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, the, the original ones were pretty good. I didn't have leeway anyway, because it's like the Mario Bros. movie in terms of like the era they came out. But that film was great. That Mario film we watched the other day. Yeah, no, no, it's it's a uh, nothing to do with Mario at all, really. It's loosely based on it. Anyway, uh, Pokemon to switch this year star. So the only real thing we can say about this is that it was rumored. Uh, a lot of people have made ru- uh, that said rumors at this point that have been proven wrong at every turn. However. Nintendo, uh, Game Freak has recently hired a 3D modeler to create a monster models at a, between Vita, uh, 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 and the experience with either Vita or Wii U, which is, you know, that, the same kind of low-level ballpark that you need to make low-poly models for low-functioning systems like the Switch. Which basically confirms it is a Switch. It might not be a normal. I, think I it don't think it's this year. On the game, it might not be a mainline Pokemon game yet. That's the other reception is. Well, I think they might not be on the release this year at all. I think what they're doing is they're hiring people to develop the next mainline Pokemon game. So next year's 2018s. 2018. It'd be 2000. It might be. It probably be shown 2018 release 2019. No, I think it'll be 2018 because if if Mario Odyssey is this year's holiday hit. Um, I suppose Pokemon could be. Uh... Pokemon, because Pokemon, you've got to remember, I'm not that big a fan of it, but Pokemon has some weird ability to be able to shift millions of you, like... Well, I, I'm wondering where Metroid's going to come in. I think Metroid's going to be like a um, September launch next year. I'd love, I'd, I'd really love September, Metroid to be September this year, <laughs> just like, yep, it's coming out. No, Metroid's going to be huge. Like, it, when it, like, if it's a prime game, then yeah. Metroid, I think, could be the same kind of level as... Zelda in the hype. Oh yeah, no. I mean, like it's a, it's it's normally a pretty low selling game in comparison to everything in the grand scale of things. But so is Zelda. But, what will that do? Yeah, no. I think Metro, especially if they go for some like a fifteen Metroid instead of like a twelve Metroid. What well, you telling me? You don't want Metroid Prime Federation Force Two? The Federation Force wasn't awful. It just wasn't Metroid. How much did you pay for that game? I got like a ten, I think. Are you sure you're telling the truth, Jamie? Yeah, man. Because I saw it in CX the other day for 35 quid, and it made me sad. Right, next one is Fallout 4 VR. is to be fully revealed at E3 this year. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say it. My most hyped, one of my most hyped releases of the year. Before we start that, is, have, are Bethesda doing E3 this year? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, because we get Wolfenstein, I think. We'll get a new one there. <laughs> Um, yeah, yes. Probably some, uh, probably, Fallout yeah. 4 VR is definitely, a f- uh, no, fuck it, it's, it is my highest rated, most anticipated game of the year, if it works. If it works, I generally think it could be... I think it's going to work, work, but I think the minimum is going to be a GTX 1070. Yeah, I think that's why, to be honest, that's one of the reasons why I'm upgrading my... PC, yeah. 
if it works, I generally think it could have the impact of what, like, of say what Mario 64 had on the or three like Doom for PC. Yeah. I feel like this is gonna be what this is gonna be like. Resident Evil is the horror experience, and this is like the experience that people want for the Vive. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like Fallout 4 as a game, but the world is immersive, and if I can travel the entire world in VR, and it's not like a room boxed room experience, and I can shoot, I can build settlements. I mean, that's what they said from the start: is that it is just the game. It's just the game in VR. Like, I'm not going to be loved, but if I can build a big ass settlement that has like a massive loft tower and just sit there and snipe like mute, super mutants with a sniper rifle and it works. You, yeah, you could, you could probably do that. I, I don't think they're going to remove building it. It's also apparently supposed to have all the DLC. Which yeah, is, it's going, which well, is going to be pretty that good. That's my second point. I think they'll release like a game of the year. Because they've always released a game of the year edition of all the Fallout games. Mm. They haven't done it for um, the Fallout 4 yet. Even though the DLC is out, it should, be, it should have been out last Christmas. I think what they're going to do is they're going to release the um, they're going to release a, a remaster, not remaster, the game of the year edition for PS4, Xbox One, possibly even Nintendo Switch, depending on how well Skyrim does. Yeah, yeah. And like, like it's have all the DLC on it, but it'll also have like the newer engine as well. See, that's what you, like, like depends on how good this new engine is, because it's got to be really good to get the frames that they need for VR. I don't think I'm gonna add. I don't think it's gonna support PS4 Pro VR. Cause I don't think the PS4 is strong. Um, even the Pro is strong enough to support. I think the, the Pro user. might be, and I think they might be but, building. They might. No, be, they no, might build it for it. I think right now it's built. From what I've read, it's built for room scale. Like that's why it's specifically been designed for Vive. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's if you have an Oculus, you might even have some issues with it. Cause I've actually read around that a lot of Vive only games are being. Um, not working that, not playing that well with uh, Oculus. Hmm. But I'm really hyped. For the game itself was okay, but it, not only is it good, but I think yeah, if they can make the full game work in the sense that I can just travel wherever, I can look where I want to go, like kind of like Zelda thing. I want to go to the end of the map. I can virtual walk, either it's teleportation or onward style, and then I can do that. I, I've heard it's both. Yeah, but whatever. As long as it works, and it's not like crashing all the time, and glitching. Why not? Oh, I, I, I'd imagine it's gonna have its fair share of glitches because it is at the end of the day the same game. I don't even care. Like if if it's just even like fifteen percent of what um, they're saying. What I think they should do, um, just for the thing, is they should release a demo of literally until you escape the um, what's the call it facility. Actually, no, what I would be very tempted to do is maybe unlock the first game because I, I want you don't really do much shooting. I would, I think that would probably be what they do at E3. They might have like a setup area where what, so where you can like you name the baby, so uh, and then you go. Not out. That, I think they might have like a settlement area where it's got like a, a gun range so you can try out the shooting, the walking, or that kind of do you know what I mean? That kind of thing just so it yeah. kind of like showcases. I mean, at the end of the day, if they only have teleportation movement, which is at the box stat minimum they'll have, people are just gonna mod it. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 a the the games are incredibly moddable, and that's what the probably the coolest thing about it is, is that whatever the first that fucks up with it, people yeah. are gonna fix really quickly. Oh god! Oh my god! If that fucking supports mods, Jesus! Like, is it definitely G? For me personally, before we move on to the next subject. It has definitely convinced me to upgrade. I was going to upgrade my GPU next year, mm. but I'm going to upgrade it now. It's now moved from like the back of the line to the front of the line because I want to be able to fully play Fallout 4 VR yeah. without any shit. If it, the, and there's, you know, there's a few of the major... There is a, you've got to remember that Valve's big VR titles are around the corner as well. Plus you've got... You've got obviously, um, yeah, you've got quite a lot of things. VR. Yeah, and there's quite a lot of the major VR indie developers that are coming out, uh, that are almost done. And even, yeah, even the indie games, like, I'm still getting a shit ton. Like, if I could only had hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades on my vibe, I would still think it's value for money. Like, I've had so much fucking fun with yeah. hot dogs. Like, um, I'm, I'm thinking of picking up Pavlov. I think it's, I think it's only £7 right now. It's, yeah. um, and that's, it's it, it good. I mean, I know next week, we've well, I say next week, later this week, uh, instead of Saturday, we'll have the news, but we're probably going to have one discussion. That's going to be about one year with the Vive. Now we've both had it for a year. I think I... we'll do that as a special thing, and yeah. we'll do it inside of the, uh, what's we call it? 
the news. Um, I was going to say big screen. Oh, actually, yeah, if we can get that to work, that would be pretty dope. One of the problems is I've been super busy with university mm. TVs, so I haven't been able to do it, but I want to get back into my vibe, and my room's not really vibe suitable, but I'd want to get back into it so badly. I like. mean, we're currently um, looking for a new place, and we're like, okay, so uh, how big's the bedroom? Okay, that's not that big enough vibe, vibe space. Let's check the next place. Yeah, but like, yeah, it's good. Like, I've enjoyed it. Like, I think... I'm looking Fallout... forward to the next-gen of VR next year as well, because I think it's going to be next year. Like... I know that's stupid. We keep talking about Fallout 4 VR, but didn't they say they're bringing Doom to VR as well? Yeah, but apparently that's a bit less of a... It's not going to be the full game. It's more like a... Wait, it's me. Yeah, like a wait... Like... To move, you teleport, and then it, like, slow-mo does it. So kind of like bullet time. Yeah, bullet, you bullet time your way over and then you can shoot people. And it's like, that like, it looks like it's going to be a pretty VR game rather than a, um, you know, truly immersive one. And I'm hoping that Fallout 4, and obviously we've got other stuff like Vanishing Rounds, I think, ha is developing the next few episodes now. Finally. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I definitely think 2016 was a bit of a shit year for VR, but that was because it was very expensive, it was very new. I still don't think, or, but, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm curious, but I think, like, the thing is, the quality of the, um, the VR games are getting better, um, indie games are getting better, mm. um, I mean, god, there's so much, like, there's Super Trainer VR coming out, which looks pretty good. There's City Rush. Um, also, which... um, if, you, if you guys have a VR headset and haven't played um, Super Hot VR, <laughs> yeah, you're doing Hot... yourself a massive disservice because that's probably one of the funnest VR games I've ever played. Mm. Um, what else? I'm just trying to think of what else is coming. There's a lot of like wave-based shooters, but still, they look. There's some really like really nice looking ones. Um, that. Uh, what's that? What's that? Up that RPG that like makes uh, the demo makes your um, card shit itself. No idea. Soul Keeper or something. You know, it's. I'll I'll show you. Um... But yeah, I think like the pop, like I was saying, with Vive, I think. I'll be interested to. Um see what comes up in the next year. I mean, we've got Rick and Morty coming out, haven't we? Yeah. One sec, I'll just uh, send it to you. Uh, this is the... This is one of the people's, like, big one. You know, I'll, just, I'll post it. You're on the uh, script, right? So that. Yeah. Just type down to Steam. Yeah, I will do later. I can't access it right now. Cause... Okay, so basically it is a first per... Obviously it's first person. Um, it is an epic RPG adventure where you fight dragons, cast spells, sword fight... Lose your virginity by the sound of it. It's also really pretty. Which means it chugs like a motherfucker on my current rig. Oh, have you. Have, oh, God, I'll tell you one thing you have a vibe you really need to play now. Um, Buzz Aldrin's game, have you, well, experience. Really? Have you seen it? Have you heard about it? No. It, just, it's called Buzz Aldrin Cycling Pathway. It's based. How do I. Oh, I see it. But it's a cycling pathway to Mars. It's just such a dope game. It's like basically how you travel to Mars. Oh, there's a 3D render of Buzz Aldrin in it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, and it's free as well. Hmm, that's pretty good. Um. I mean, we've had a lot of games. Onward's still doing really. Onward's still really good. Like, uh, we're saying Pavlov is getting a lot of traction. Uh, BAM VR, uh, people really want to be a thing, but isn't. <laughs> Dirt VR is really good. Oh yeah, I've heard that. What's this Project Lux? Project Cars is really good. I know we haven't played it for a while. Oh yeah, it's... yeah. I want to get a wheel. Like when I get when I get my like into work, I'm. Yeah, a... I will get. A... I will get one just because I think. Ooh. I mean... Oh, Kitty! You know Kittyopolis, the game. Nice, dude. In... We, dude, we got we finally got a story-based VR game coming out. And what? I know it's a story-based VR game because the person who made it made a pretty popular visual novel on Steam. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's called um, Project Lux. It's basically you're in a court trial, 
and someone killed someone, and you got to defend them. And it's like a story-based thing. And it looks like it's got like actual character interaction. But anyway, let's move on to the next piece of news before we like... Sorry, sorry it's the efforts. Anyway, it comes out uh, in three days, by the way, so keep an eye on that. Lego City Undercover, which was one of my... The last Wii U games I put any proper attention into before I gave up my Wii U. Mm. It's coming out next week for PS4, Xbox One, PC and Nintendo Switch. And we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch version because... An interesting you highlighted to me. Basically, it's been a clusterfuck on Reddit this week, and I don't really know what's happening anymore. Um, do you want to explain what happened and what's okay. happening? Now? So on the box, it says that you need at least 13 gigabytes of space on your Switch, which is which, half the Switch. Yeah, <laughs> which is less if you downloaded Zelda. Yeah, less if you downloaded Zelda. Yeah, I think I'm not sure there's enough room to download Zelda. Um, and apparently, so, people freaked out about that, it's like, why do you need to download 30, uh, you know, why not just get, you get the 16 gigabyte card, you idiots. Um, but now they've come out and said that, no, you don't need to, but the cartridge is only 7 gigs, so, is it that those, like, other 13 gigs are just optimization, or, what's going on with that? <laughs> But then, what did then Warner Brothers come out and say? You know, you don't need an internet connection or some weird shit. Like it came out with a statement today saying, "No, no, no, you don't need it." You, I, I'm, conf I'm really confused now. Like, move, yeah, I'm just gonna move on from it. Really don't know. Uh, yeah, just an interesting thing to yeah. follow. Last one, Destiny Two is coming. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say three things now. I'm interested because I. The first one was all right. I'm not going to buy it at launch because, let's be honest, if you bought it at launch, you need £200 to like buy all the content. Yeah. I'd much rather wait just two years and buy the Game of the Year edition with all the DLC mm. and then play it over the weekend. Is this on PC? Or are they on Sig Apparently, they say it's coming to PC, but they said the last one was coming to PC. I'm, I'm interested in playing on PC. I can't play first-person shooters on console anymore. Nah. Unless, I... unless it comes out on the Switch and it uses gyro. I will get it on PC only if you and Phil get it because it's kind of the game you need to play with other people, otherwise it gets boring very quickly. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like something you, you pay 30 quid for, play for like maybe 20 hours and then never play again. Yeah, but that's basically... Like, like Division or uh, Ghost Recon Wild. I'm not gonna lie, dude, that's pretty much what happened with me. Like, I played it for a week, intensively for a week and a half, and maybe even like a month on and off. I mean, you just have to be like the kind of person who can get into an MMO, and I'm just not one of them, to be honest. I can get into an MMO, but the problem was it wasn't even a very good MMO yeah, at launch. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Like, it, it couldn't hold me. But anyway, we're going to have one main discussion point this week. Um, because, well, we've got streaming and we've also got work to do. And that's Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, <sighs> um, I mean, we didn't have to talk that much about it because we kind of went over a lot of it yesterday. I mean, not yesterday, last week. It's... I've watched some more stuff of it. I've been a bit, uh, you know, and um, there are some hilarious glitches. <laughs> I've seen I've seen one where someone runs around a corner and then uh, three people spawn spawn in and trap him. The game's good, but God, has it got some really, really fucking bad ideas? Like, <sighs> I'd wait till the first DLC comes out because then that's when they'll do their like major patching. Yeah, it's too much. It's Right now, I honestly can't say buy it. Or pick it up for half price if you can. Yeah, the, the thing is, the story is all over the place. Makes no sense. The gameplay is all right, but repetitive. Mm. The glitches are funny, but then there are some really, really bad ones. Um, it's. I want to love it because it matters. my favorite game series in the world, but. I can't. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a very I'm... mediocre game from what I've seen. That's the problem, yeah. I, I, I think that's not even its fault entirely because of how great the games before it were. You had Neo, you had Yakuza 6, you have Zelda, even Horizon Zero Dawn was like Mars better. Um, you have Persona 5 coming out. You know, it was, it was a game that lacked effort to be in the year of what could be the year of best games. But the thing is, though, I, I think that's a bullshit point because the game should not have should have been able to stand up against all of them because 
the last three games, whatever you think about Mass Effect 3, even Mass Effect 2, they were both really good games. This just isn't... The thing is, this, I think it's probably this game is it tries to do too much, and but by doing so much, it doesn't do anything. It, it's a jack of all trades, but a master of none. There you go. Like, it wants to be really successful, and, you know, um, it wants to be the best one in the series. But, I mean, I love the exploration, but the problem is, there's really only five, six planets you can explore properly. Do you know what I mean? And they're, very, they're all pretty much carbon copy pastes of um, each other. So, you know, you have your... You've basically got to make activate a vault um, to clean up the atmosphere, land a military, land a base on there, you know, military or whatever, mm. and then you do some side missions, and that's the same. And it's just like, man, there's no real reward for like completing the, doing that. I mean, you get apex, you get points to unlock like cryopods and stuff, but it's not like you don't feel inclined to go out and do anything, and you're just like. What am I doing? Like, yeah. And the thing is, the other thing is, the main story just it pisses, they've they've clearly setting it up for a sequel. But the thing is, the first the story just doesn't make any sense. And like, there's no guarantee it will get the sequel based on its reception. <laughs> yeah, think, might, yeah, it might just be like fuck it. The thing is, though, it makes no sense. Like these remnant, these alien techs. I understand that you don't, they don't want to spoil everything about them straight away, but literally hardly anything's explored about them, so they just become annoying and not really that interesting. Um, mm. uh, I don't know. It's It could have been so, so much, but it was so, so little, if that makes sense. Yeah. It breaks my heart. Like It could have been a great game, but... When Persona 5 comes out next week, I'll probably forget about this game until the DLC comes out. Well, I mean, like, if you have time to play Persona 5. No, but you know what I mean? Like, what I would be playing... Oh, yeah, no, it's not going to be a game that you remember. Like, I, I think Persona 5 is going to... Like, it's just, not going to win any awards. You're not a Mass Effect, not Persona, right? Oh, yeah. Mass Effect. <laughs> Mass... Persona's probably going to win, like, quite a few awards. Mass Effect's not going to win any awards. Uh, but, yeah. Um, Destiny... Uh, sorry, sorry, just, uh, E3 is E3 doomed um, because obviously Microsoft has said that they're going to do their own kind of PlayStation experience kind of thing. PlayStation has PlayStation experience. Nintendo has Nintendo Directs. I don't think E3 is doomed. I think it's just shifted perspective. Like I think the e last few E3s have been pretty unmemorable. I think that's just because that we've, we've reached the point where like companies don't want to have to put their schedules up to get stuff done for June. Like, we've, like there's, there's Sony, thing. they can get it done for September, November. Some of the rise of in the internet, mainly, let's say, Reddit, etc. <laughs> most stuff nowadays gets, like, le like literally, let's be honest, the week before E3 is usually more fun than actual E3 itself, because that's when everything gets fucking leaked. Yeah, leaked yeah. You're like, because I guarantee the Xbox <laughs> One Scorpio will get leaked big time in the, like, a week before the press conference. Well, I think they might do it themselves just to like soften the blow of the price. Like that way, people are like, getting really annoyed at the price and they show all the stuff, and then they're like, "Yeah, but here's the price that you guys heard earlier. That's true." And then everyone's like, "All right, I guess we know about it early, so we can't be annoyed too much on the day." Hmm. I've been. I've I'm been interested this year. I'd love them to come out and say it's three ninety nine, and we're making a loss on it just to get it out to people. They could not make that much of a loss. You know what I mean. That's two hundred pounds per fucking unit. I think six hundred pounds would be selling it at a loss anyway. Mm. Unless, unless they've lied about the specs, six hundred pounds selling it at a loss. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it for this year though for Nintendo. <laughs> for Nintendo and Bethesda, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I would love for Bethesda just to be like, oh, and Fallout Four VR, it's out now. Because if that happens, I'm not going to lie, our internet speed in our house is going to go Because <laughs> you and me would just be like, F5, 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 this shit. Yeah, but, um, so... Or at least one real quick thing for me, I guess. So, Nintendo's got a massive space this year, compared to uh, previous years. Like, it's got, it's basically taken Microsoft space. Uh, yeah. So, what do you think? What, what, what do you think they got? Do you think they're just going to be like, is this just another place for them to show off, obviously, Zelda, Splatoon, and stuff? 
Or do you think they've actually got quite a lot of new stuff? I think it's a mix. I think there'll be a lot of focus on Mario Odyssey. I don't think there's going to be as much, because what happened with last year was Reggie came out at the forum and said, this E3 were only bringing Zelda. And this time they haven't said that. I think Mario, I think Mario, I think even Nintendo's E3 this year, I think quite a few people are going to be disappointed. I don't think they're going to show a lot. I think they're going to announce a lot. Like, I think we'll get an announcement of Metal, of Metroid, whatever. I think we'll probably get playable on the floor. We'll probably get the new Pikmin. We'll probably get... Um, well, like we, said, like we said to ourselves, like, they need to announce four games that are coming out this year. The rest can be we might, we might get, actually, the new Assassin's Creed if that's announced and it's coming out on the Switch as rumoured. Because I think that might That'll be... That'll be a Ubisoft possible. conference. Yeah, I know, but I think like on the on the actual floor, oh, right on the way, yeah, on the actual floor. it might actually be playable on the Switch because obviously Ubisoft like and Nintendo have a close partnership. But I don't think that's going to be like what I mean. Is Nintendo needs to show four of their own IP or four of their oh, second party IP. Well, get you're going to get Pikmin. You'll get a bigger focus on Mario Odyssey. Monster how Hunter it's... is going to get, and um, it might be this yeah, year. Yeah, Monster Hunter will be because the the guy who made Monster Hunter literally just literally said, I, I hope you enjoy it, playing it on other systems. We will get definitely get something teased from. Um, from Pokemon Company, we'll definitely get something teased from Atlas. Uh, I don't think so. Atlas has already kind of shown all the. I don't think they'll have that much more for Shin Megami Tensei. Unless they're like. And what I see in two years' time is there'll be Persona 5 Portable on the Switch. Yeah. I think we might get quite a bit of like virtual console as well, like mm. the full virtual console. Mm. Um, mm. I think. I think the reason they've got such large space is I think. They've probably got quite a multiplayer centric game that we don't know about coming out this year. And I think the reason they've basically they need to obviously show that multi Unless it's unless they're really trying to push Splatoon and because it's coming out in August. That might be the case. I think a lot of that space might just be for Splatoon or so. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Just to show people how good like the multiplayer is and like you have like eight switches all together and then they'll be like like we did it when we went yeah. to the thing in Birmingham, you know you have eight con eight units. And people would just be like playing multiplayer matches. You don't realize how much space that requires. I can I can say that kind of being a thing, but I'd also um like you got to remember the Nintendo area is most likely just for Nintendo, and you won't have indie companies there that have games on the Nintendo systems. You'll have them having switches at their own stations. I'm like, not sure. Say, I think like, say, say you, might have, you might have a couple because if there is a couple of like I'm sure. It's, Oh no, exclusives will be in the Nintendo section. But, oh yeah. But, but oh, time, exclu time exclusives Star will be in. Stardew Valley multiplayer won't be in the Switch area. Yeah, because it's coming out on PC first, they said. Although it's coming out on Switch console first. Yeah, like, PC first. I'm, I'm looking forward to losing like the majority of my free time outside of work, Stardew Valley, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great. Um, for PlayStation, I reckon they're going to show Days Gone. I'm really hyped for Days Gone. Obviously, a lot of people, you know, want the last of us to Days Gone, Days Gone will be their 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 big thing. I think they'll show a bit more than Charted DLC. Mm. I think they might show um, some. That's a crash out. It's next month, right? No, July. Oh. I think um, they might show. I think they'll show some more um, Last of Us. They'll t they'll end up with the Last of Us Two gameplay teaser. Mm. Um, I think we'll probably get a couple of IPs. I'm not sure. I think Jack and Daxter's coming back. Mm. I think. I, I've heard a very interesting rumor that apparently it was on Neo Gaff earlier. Apparently, Last of Us Part Two might be VR compatible. Oh, I'd imagine so. I think even Days Gone might have some VR compatibility. Yeah, I think it'll be tacked on in the sense that it won't be designed from the ground up for oh, VR, yeah. but it'll have like a. Resident Evil 7 type. Yeah, and I mean, like, I think that's the best course of action for console VR, because I can definitely see that as, like, a buying, uh, as a reason to buy VR, is because, you know, like, if you know that at least two or three major titles will let you play through in VR. Yeah. It's so fun. Because even, like, just stereo 3D, like, Resident Evil 7 okay. does. But let's, uh, let's go, because we're nearly going to reach an hour soon. We've done Nintendo, we've done Sony, Xbox, <laughs> I think we'll. <laughs> I think, I think Xbox will obviously focus a lot on Scorpio. Also, I think, we're almost 40 minutes, I don't know, but that's 
I think we'll get a lot of Scorpio. I think we'll get probably Halo 6 T's. We'll get obviously get get the new Halo 6 T's. We'll get Forza, new Forza. We'll get Crackdown 3. Are we, we even June new Forza at this point? I don't think we are. Yeah, because it's the 10th anniversary this year since the first one. I reckon um, Scorpio's going to launch with Crackdown 3, not Halo. Well, yeah, because um, Halo 6, they've already had a Halo, they've never released two main Halo games a year, and they've had Halo Wars this year. Also, um, not Halo is losing popularity fast. Yeah, it's like... Crack, it's, Crackdown uh, hasn't had that kind of, like, negative press. Because pr pr Crackdown's pretty well unknown. Yeah, but, like, it's something they can definitely... I do. think Crackdown, fr Crackdown 3 would be the powerhouse of the... Scorpio, do you know what I mean? That'd be the game that they'll well, show. It's got like a fuck tons of destructibility, if I remember from Crackdown 2. Yeah, but on the original demo they showed like three years ago, it ran really piss poorly on the Xbox. Yeah, I can, I can imagine that being a thing. Uh, what else? Um, what, you... Rare! Rare's gonna finally show, uh, give us a Sea of Thieves release date. And I've heard from people that played it, it's actually pretty damn good. But it's also on PC, so I don't care. Yeah. Um. Ubisoft. I think we'll probably get more South Park. Wait, isn't that got a release date now? No, it got pushed back again. Well, it's for the Switch, obviously. Yeah, they say it's not going to the Switch, but I cle it clearly is. Mm. I think we'll get, obviously, I think a bit of big focus on the new Assassin's Creed. Oh, new uh, I reckon there'll be a new Splinter Cell. Yeah, there'll be, a new, there'll be a new Splinter Cell, because every year there's a new Ghost Recon, there's a new Tom Clancy. We've had The Division, we've had Ghost Recon, I think it's do you think they're going to hit VR as hard as they hit last time? I or harder? Think they are, because I think Star Trek Online... I think the reason Star Trek... Um, no, Star Trek. Star Trek Bridge VR, I think that's been delayed for three reasons. Firstly, I don't think it was ready. Mm. Two, I think it's going to launch when the new season launches. Because it was originally meant to launch alongside the new Discovery TV show. That's not launched until holiday 2017 now. I think that will probably come along with it, because it's, it's free advertising, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think we probably won't get much VR, but we'll get a bit. Um, you, I think we'll get, you know, we'll get the regular shit from Ubisoft, so, you know, Just Dance. We might get... Probably get a tra teaser trailer for Dishonored. Um, no, not Dishonored. Um, what's it called? For on uh, Season 2 um, content. Do you think... I don't think it won't be E3 or the Game Awards that we'll get it, but... Do you think we're going to get Telltale come out and say they're finally making an art show game? I want, I want them to, but I'm refusing to buy any Telltale game now until they update their engine because it runs like shit. Mm. Like apparently it doesn't. Like this, obviously the Switch isn't uh, isn't um, isn't that powerful, but it can run Telltale Guardians of the Galaxy, and they're just refusing to port it because my S7 can run it. Yeah, because they even it's, Phil's iPhone can run it. It's it's literally just the case of they're lazy as hell, and they're not gonna they're not gonna. Yeah, play, but... I think Ubisoft would be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah. what Square Enix bringing? I don't, like, we're not about, they always do really weird shit. No, 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 no. Right? We're talking about it. E3 Square e I think Square do Square Enix do Tomb Raider? Yes, they do. We'll get the new Tomb Raider, because that got that got leaked earlier this year. We'll definitely get that because the film's coming out as well. Kingdom um, Hearts Kingdom Hearts Three. release date of 2018. It's not happening. Not, tw not 2018. We'll get another trailer and it will say coming soon. And I'm just gonna Rage no, out. Say, no, it will say now in development. Question. Oh, uh, comma. No, we really mean it this time. <laughs> it will literally say now in development, and that's it. That's the trailer. It starts <laughs> playing the Kingdom <laughs> Hearts. Trailer. Starts playing the Kingdom Hearts theme, and it goes Kingdom Hearts free. And when the trailer normally starts, it just goes now in development. I think Square Enix. We're, 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 we're going to see something about their new Marvel games that they've been contracted, yeah. which is taking up the Kingdom Hearts free development we'll time. Get, um, Square Enix will also get Hitman Season 2 trailer. Uh, we'll get a release date for the first episode of Final Fantasy VII. Yep. Yeah. Which is going to be think awesome. So. I'm actually really hyped for Season 2 of Hitman. I really, I wasn't that big a fan of the format of how they released it, but the quality of the games, what the quality of the levels were great. Yeah. Um, I mean, what else? Um, Dragon Quest Eleven hasn't uh, it's another Western release date yet, so I imagine that's when they do that. I think we'll see quite a bit of Switch stuff from them as well. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, um, what else have we got? We've got Bethesda as well. Oh, we said for VR. Um, Wolfenstein, the new one. They'll tease Elder Scrolls 6 at the end of it. Yeah, Wolfen I think we'll get Wolfenstein, the new one. 
I think also if they can tease the next Elder Scrolls and it doesn't look like total garbage like every of like graphically, I would be so amazed. I wonder, do you think the next Elder Scrolls VR game will be built for, from the ground up to support VR? Ooh, see that's a difficult question. Like it might be that they, surely I, if they surely if they're taking their time, sweet last time in Fallout 4, it's because they're learning the system, which means it can't be that hard. Because let's be honest, Elder Scrolls in VR would that not be amazing? Fighting dragons in VR. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm hoping that next generation of VR, instead of just focusing on a resolution bump and um, you know, uh, uh, for vetted rendering, is they have some sort of force feedback in the controllers. Yeah, that that would be nice. Or like a like a sound in, or something. It's like you can hear the chink and then like it vibrates really harshly. So you you, you know you kind of have to. Withdraw your hands. Oh, going back to EA, and let's see else we'll get, we'll get her EA. Oh, we've never done EA yet, have we? No, we haven't done EA. EA doesn't have its own conference, though. Oh, yeah, it does. It does, yeah. yeah, yeah. It does. EA, I've, we'll definitely get, um, we'll get Battlefront 2 full reveal. We'll get a full reveal from the Amy Henningway um, game she's making for Battle, um, Star Wars, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, we've got some, still the other Star Wars games that are due. We'll get Mass Effect DLC. We will get EA on, we'll get. Bioware on square on stage. We'll get FIFA 18. We'll get Madden 18. And we'll get Bioware on stage revealing their new IP, which is due to come out before the end of next year, financial year. Mm. Um, I think EA will put might have a couple of surprises. Um, I don't think so. A uh, Mirror's Edge, maybe maybe another Mirror's Edge. No, nah, because that, that last one bombed so badly. Um, I. <sighs> I've got a feeling EA have got something up their sleeves because there's been, unlike the, info, the non Neo Gaff and Reddit chat rooms, it's been talked like they're financing shit, like they're doing some new IPs. They might be. I mean, EA might try and jump into the I mean, if now. EA, If EA want to become mega rich, all they have to do is just tease Battlefield Bad Company 3 and I'll just literally sell them everything I own. Well, no, isn't that what's supposed to be coming anyway? No, because it's, they don't want it to compete with. Um, Apart the rumor is, rumor has it that basically Battlefield One is going to hold them over until 2020. It's like basically a, a three-year game. Mm. Battlefront, not Battlefront. Battlefront Two is their FPS this year, and Bad Company Three is going to be their main shooter multiplayer game next year. I would love to see Battle <laughs> Bad Company Three so much. I, Bad Company Two is my top ten games of all time. Um, what else does EA have? What what classic franchises? Because that's another thing you gotta be. That's another thing that I expect from Sony is you know they brought back Crash, they brought back Parappa. What is the next Sony game they're bringing back? You know, can someone can they buy Spyro off Activision and just? Oh, I think we'll see Spider Man. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, the new Spider Man game. Yeah, Sp the, the exclusive Spider Man game that looks really good because it seems like they've. Basically... I'm su I'm surprised like Square Enix aren't doing it. Because technically, don't Square Enix they're all Marvel games now. Yeah, but uh, Spider Man's owned by Sony. You you know what I mean though, like. Well, that's what I mean. That that's what that's part of the only reason oh, why they're because um, Spider Man's owned by uh, Sony. I would like. Um, we'll definitely get um, FIFA. Madden. Uh, Madden. Uh, get, NBA. Yeah. NBA teams already. You might cool. get new Sims content possibly. Um, oh, oh, when the Sims Four came out. 2014. I reckon there'll be something. It could just be a new, a new Sims game with a completely different name. Yeah, like like Sims Universal, like a no, spin-off. No, 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 no. I mean, it's probably just gonna be called The Sims at this point. We might Sims get, Five sounds weird. Yeah, we might get a new Sim City just because I know the last one was like was received really badly, and that uh, City Skylines, which is a much better game, is destroying them. But I don't think they've given up on that franchise yet. Mm. Um, we might get new Need for, Need for Speed. Oh yeah, no. But actually, I can't really say anything bad. My dad loves Need for Speed. He's a really big fan of the. Uh, Need for I like. Games. I don't like Need for Speed, but I can understand why people like. Well, it's it. like we're not racing games. Game. <laughs> um, that's like that's like the main thing. It's like I can't really judge that, a game. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna get Skate Four. Possibly. Because we're gonna get Skate Four, or Skate Three, me Masters, because EA know. Basically, every gamer wants skate again. 
Let's be honest. Yeah, so, yeah, but like, like you said with Microsoft, um, what goes back saying, I don't think they're show much, because I don't think they have much until they're, you said they, they want to do a, like a PlayStation experience for a while? Yeah. Um, I'm, just checking, I'm looking now at what else um, EA have got that, like, they might be able to do. Um, holy shit, they make a lot of fucking sports games. Jesus, fuck! Literally, like, 90% of the page just sports, 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 sports. Oh, also, Microsoft is going to bore us to tears by talking about TV for about half an hour. Ah, apparently they're not, like, um... 4K TV on your Xbox Scorpio. Um, do you think we'll get, um... Um, oh well, Jesus people, Christ! Um, and okay. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> can we just discuss this one thing? Yeah. Um, Elon Musk is now setting up a company that will link brains to computers. I mean, I mean, he's he's a very big uh, supporter of VR and um, cybernetic enhancements. So it's not really that that surprising. Yeah, it's I want to get like my dream car is um is um an muscle mobile. Oh, you mean like a self-driving thing? No, what what? Those electric cars you make, Teslas. Yeah, yeah, they they self-drive and they uh, they show like that. Yeah. yeah, and they like a fucking like twenty-inch touchscreen control that like just does everything. Yeah. Also, um, so yeah, obviously this is he's most likely using that for you know helping with brain diseases and stuff. But you know you could flip it and just say sort out online. <laughs> If you can link brain, brain, to, brain to computers, we will... Question? Yeah. Who's going to have... Well, so, who's going to have Red Dead Redemption 2? Oh, Sony. Do you think that... So definitely Sony, then? I reckon Sony, yeah. What do you think? Scorpio's going to have it. Eh, I suppose Scorpio, man. I think Microsoft could pay... Nah, Nintendo's going to get it. <laughs> no, I think, I think actually Microsoft might get... Because Sony... Rockstar seems to swap. Like GTA 4 was really big with Xbox. Mm. GTA 5 was really big with PlayStation. Um, do you know what I mean? Like they seem to swap the platform of choice. Like, I'm pretty sure they'll go with PS4 just because the double the size install base. Oh, it's second project to do that. That's awesome. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I know we've gone on to a about what we expect from E3. We're probably gonna have a proper E3 prediction show mid-May. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like we'll we'll have more information then. We'll, um, yeah. I we'll... mean, I think E three this year has got a lot right on it because I watched um quite a few YouTubers, especially Rich at Ryu Tech USA, who I fucking love. He's like the greatest YouTuber ever. Like, I like what he gets spawned with. There's still a lot of concern that the gaming industry is heading for another 1980s crash. And I think E3 this year is going to be very important. Like I don't think I think it's 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 really weird to say this because it's, it's, it's the Switch's greatest problem, but it's also the, the how Switch is helping the industry. Mm. If the industry goes down, I don't think Switch is going down with it because of how underpowered the system is. Yeah, and I think that's the important thing. We are playing with fire here. With the amount of, with uh, the Scorpio pushing true 4K, encouraging people to make true 4K games, and run at really good frame rates. The first time ever, by the time the Scorpio comes out, whatever we think about it, it's going to basically be the equivalent of a very good PC. And right now, there's not really anywhere consoles can go. There's not anywhere PCs can go at this point. It's like before. I mean, I know you can easily say, oh, 8K or whatever, but really, that's 8K is a long way off. 4K right now is... Well... Cool. But you know, you know what I mean. You say that, that, but um, you can buy an 8K monitor for 5K. And... Yeah, but right now, we're saying, right now, let's be honest, the PS4, the PS4 Pro and the Scorpio are pretty much going to be... I would say the Pro, the Pro is good enough as it is. I mean... Actually, to be fair, the Pro is good because let's be honest, no games have released for it yet designed specifically for it, and it's still chucking out beautiful graphics. And, and it's got like that boost thing that boosts um, basic uh, PS4 games. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because everyone's hard on the graphics is damaging the industry as a whole. 
You say that. The thing is, it's not the graphics that piss me off the most. The problem is, it's, it's the problem I had with my Xbox One. It can produce nice graphics, don't get me oh, wrong. No, no, no. I'm on about it, the reason why it's killing the industry is money wise. It no, costs... I'll, tell you why it's, I'll, no, I'll tell you why it's. No, but hear me out. Like, the, the games may look nice, great, but the games are released. Most games nowadays are releasing in piss poor condition when like, they're broken, kind of thing, when they're launched. And I think that's annoying people, and I think people are getting fed up and are stopping to buy games. I think that's the reason why all these games are lowering down, because no. let's be honest. The, 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 that's. It's not consumer's fault, uh, sorry, a consu uh, consumer's reason is why get, uh, things are dropping. Companies are literally going out of business because you can't make your money back. Even if your game is as popular as it was the year before, it costs even more and more. So, say, like, think about it. GTA 5 costs, what, was it like 100, 200 million? 250 million pounds. 250 million pounds. Um, and and that's a cheap game. Top 10. Yeah. Um, and every game from now on around that scale is going to cost that, it, it, you know. And if you want to add native 4K, you know, permanent to that, you're going to add another 50 mil onto that. And it's just going to gradually send out all companies out of business except for the Mega Titans. And that's why indie games are flourishing so well, is because people that like indie games don't really give a shit about super impressive um, polygon cap. Oh. Fucking. What do you call it? Firewatch and um, Life is Strange. Time, that time travel game. What's it called? Life is Strange. Life is Strange. They were both indie games, and they were like the two of the best experiences I had last year. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's another thing. Like Square Enix could um, have that. Oh yeah, Square Enix. If they do Life is Strange too, I will literally, literally ejaculate all over their house everywhere. Well, it's, it's not. It's not Square Enix. Is it? It, it don't not entertainment. It does it. Um... But yeah, I'm sure we'll see what they're doing next. It might not be Life is Strange 2, but it'll be the same, you know, same no, they, right, same... They, they, they confirm they're doing Life is Strange. I thought it was just the same world, though, rather than like a... Uh, if, if they're going to do it again, but it's going to be different powers this time. So I, instead of time travel, like, it could be... I don't know. Some, sh some shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that um, I'm I'm hoping for E3 this year. I think last year it was kind of like a, it was just a okay, Zelda's there and okay, you know, the PS4 Pro's out and you know the PSVR's a thing. The Vita was acknowledged. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm more interested in Sony. Uh, sorry, Bethesda, Microsoft, and um, Nintendo. Despite I me being, I don't give a shit about Sony this year because I'm not being funny. I know Sony are going to do good whatever they I do. It's like you know, it's like you know, it's like with a like a, a teenage child that you know is going to behave. You know, it's just like you just wipe your hands of it. Like I'm just going to buy anything you make, Sony, because you haven't really fucked up. <laughs> you know, I can trust them. Ubisoft, I think, will always be Ubisoft. <laughs> is always the same. It's pretty predictable. It's not bad. It's not great. But then there's always you always end with like a, te a good tease or something. They also have the, one of the best presentations because of uh, obviously Aisha Tyler. Yeah. Uh, um, EA is good, but then the sports thing would just be like fucking AFK. Like oh, I no. AFK. Oh, oh, remember the was it the PlayStation? No, it wasn't the play. It was the Game Awards where we just full on tapped out when the, when there was like a five minute rap. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, but no. I, I, I would definitely say for Sony, I'm more interested in December for the PlayStation I, yeah. series. I'm more interested, to be fair, for Microsoft because I just want to see. I, not shitting on intent, Microsoft. I generally want to see how they're going to save the score because I think the score is dead before it even arrives at this moment. Yeah, I think they have some ideas, and I mean, to them, it might be good ideas, but you know, it depends on what the public think. And you know, I'm just. Just interested. Um, at, at the end of the day, we're gamers. We're interesting. Get well, we, we like games. Uh, I want to see more VR. I want to see more Switch. I want to see more fucking Xbox. Yeah. I want a reason to get Scorpio. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I. Even if we I get, I like spending large amounts of money on tech. Well, that's been funny. But my mum said to me today, "Oh, I saw a review for that um, VR headset." And I said, she said, "You paid 800 quid for it, effectively." And I was like. Yeah, but I was like, try it, and she tried it for five minutes. And my mum just looked at her old house on Google Street View, you know, the v Google View map mm. thing. And she fucking loved it, and I was just like... Well, I, I literally just put my parents through um, the, you know, the, uh, the lab. 
Yeah, actually, the lab's great. The lab, to be fair, is my go to. And it was, you know, it was, it was literally just so, like, I can understand why you paid £780 for this. No, 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 no. In my case, I can understand why you paid £789 for this. Oh, I paid for student finance, so. I can understand why the United, United Kingdom's government paid £780. But no, but like. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm. I'm really more excited for like the Switch because I love my Switch. Oh yeah, no, it is my favourite console. By question! Far. Question, question, and question. Like, no, it's, I'll be honest, it's got no games and it's still my favourite console. No, question. What percentage are you doing handheld versus Ooh. tabletop versus P T um, traditional home console? I don't use tabletop very often. Uh, I think I will maybe when they introduce a browser that way I can play like a PS4 game and then play a YouTube Or video. when we have our flight to Japan next year. Yeah, I mean, obviously then it's going to be a pretty Literally, good Literally, can you please make sure our flight, whichever flight we go on, has fucking plugs for everyone? Because... <laughs> I think I think any flight that's like longer than 12 hours it, uh, gives you two things. Plugs and uh, unlimited movies, I believe. That's how it was for America. Not being funny, I, if, if we have that, I can happily just play like Mario Kart with you, Alan, and, J and Phil, like four of us on two Switches. Oh, yeah, yeah, because obviously we're really Like 12 right. hours. I mean, <laughs> Phil's probably going to have his own mode, I think, I think, I think I'm buying Aaron one for his birthday. Because that's in November. Cool. You know what you should do? Wait until they put out a special like, Mario edition to give him your old one. Yeah, it's yeah, boxed. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the idea, yeah. Uh, no, because all the safe days, and there's no way of transferring at the moment. I've hoped by November there's a way of transferring. There's, I think there there's will. There's a lot of issues with the Switch people, right? And that's like the, 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 weird, the, weird, the weird thing about it, is I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, that's the end of, um... End of the, end of the podcast, obviously, at the end we have a thing to prove that we are still Nintendo shills, and Nintendo is doomed. Yeah, but Nintendo, the only console that excites me, because then... So even Sony's boring. Xbox is boring. Well, like, so, Sony has boring consoles, but really good games. And actually, I'm hoping for one last thing for E3 is I'm hoping we get some other, some new obscure JRPG, like, like for the Vita, for, for the Vita and the PS. You know, just because like it's what happens. We all actually, get to be it. fair, you know, there's a rumor that apparently Persona Five are going to come out on the Vita because it can run on PS3. Yes, uh, that's. And I was like. Uh, I would have loved it to come out on Vita because I would have bought it on the Vita just to take it anywhere. Well, that's why people reckon that they're gonna in two years' time release it on the Switch. Yeah, because I think it's just having PlayStation got like a two-year license. No, no, it's not even that. It's um, it's just that if the Vita is dead, they can't release it. That's the thing. Are they gonna announce a new handout? No, they're not. They're gonna focus on VR. They're gonna focus on VR. Okay. I think they might announce a handheld towards the end of the next next year or something because. I generally think Nintendo, um, Sony are seriously looking at um, um, PlayStation Switch for PS5. I don't really care about, about if they copy Nintendo. If I can play Sony games, like, yeah. at, you know, high resolution, you know, so, if I can get Sony's power in a hand, uh, as a handheld, and then I can switch for... If I can even just get the PS4 launch version, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I mean, definitely. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping the Switch sells enough for the industry to think, well, this yeah, is where we need to go. I would, I would, what I would really love, I'd love the PS... And I know, sorry, I'm not going to go on about it, because it, it, there's loads of ifs and buts. I would love Sony for PS5 to basically do a Switch, but for the dock to actually be a console. Do you know what I mean? So, mm. like, you can only do 1080p on the handheld, say, goodbye, when you dock it, you can do... 4K, sake of argument. Yeah, no, I... And if it's coming out in 2020, which I'm pretty sure it is... Um, I can imagine that being, being a possibility. Yeah, like... Using I think that's... I think... Kashima himself said it. I generally think a Switch is the future of consoles. Do you know what I mean? Anywhere, gameplay, console quality, Zelda... I on... think that's what it needs to be. It needs to be either Switch, Switch consoles or VR. Or uh, both. Uh, or both. <laughs> According to fucking Nintendo rumours, they're going to do <laughs> VR. I don't think they will. I, I, really, just... I mean, with the power, I'd be very amazed if that's true. No, but I think... What if, well, oh, wait, just, just one last thing. What if for the Nintendo conference, they come on stage and say, we're, uh, we uh, made a mistake, uh, we're going to update the Switch right now, and basically it quadrupled your frame rate in Zelda, made a slight mistake, the system's only using 10% of its power, whoopsie-daisy. I can see... I can honestly see them in 2019... Or possibly tw late 2018. I'm gonna say 2019 on like the Switch's second anniversary. I can see them doing like a new Nintendo Switch, which has like maybe 
of being at a premium dock for like 100, 200 pounds, which does 4K graphics, sake of argument. I can see that really happening. The current Switch isn't built for it. The people of uh, Bridge. I'm saying, but I think I can see them coming out with a Switch Pro. Um. I don't think so. I think if anything, they'll do it for DS style, so they'll release it with a Pascal instead of a yeah, thing. But yeah, I but, think, but they'll yeah. keep the Pascal clock speed to the same level as the current Switch, so it's the same power, just um, like double the battery life. I think this Switch will probably last until 2022, because mm. usually Nintendo, usually a new Nintendo console comes out two to three years before a new. Um, come out. Does that make sense? And usually, because it's usually two years into the lifestyle. But man, we'll come back onto that on that E three prediction show anyway. But yeah. Yeah. So that's that's really it for uh, if, if, if for us here, uh, here today. We ramble a bit more than usual, but there is quite a lot to discuss with E three. Oh, uh, one last thing. Uh, go, uh, let me just go to the Giant Bomb website so we can list off games that are coming out next week. Because <laughs> that's what that's what we do. <laughs> Oh, there's a shitty Japanese JRPG coming out. Oh yeah, definitely. There's a terrible, terrible JRPG. I think that's pretty much the only game, because they know nothing else is going to sell yeah, it's well. going to be pretty hard to beat, I'll be honest. Um, right, here we go. Uh, but let's scroll down, scroll down. 26 to 26. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I'll do both this weekend next week. Um, so we have Fatal Fury Battle Archives Volume 2, which is a PS4 arcade title. Um, it's apparently just a bunch of old fighting games like collected together. Uh, we finally get the bug fest that is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 HD, uh, re HD remix. Uh, if you add them together, huh? if you add them together, you're technically closer to Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Well, no, the issue with that is apparently they they fucked up. It anyway, let's move on because I've got I have got. You I know. I, I, I just think over this real quick. Um, it runs at 60 FPS 1080p. And obviously 60 FPS 4K on um, the Pro, um, but apparently they forgot to sync up the animation to the frame rate, so it's very janky looking. So I'm gonna wait until probably late April to pick up Kingdom Hearts um, HD. I would get it in late April, but Mario Kart 8. Uh, Has Been Heroes came out on the Nintendo Switch, the PC, and the PS4 today. Uh, Sony Kingdom Hearts for that matter, actually. Snake Pass has also come out today. That's getting pretty good reviews. MLB The Show 17 came out today. Thimbleweed Park, which is some sort of weird indie game that I don't know about. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what it is. It's oh, it's like a um, it's like a, it's a, it's one of those you know classic point and click games. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, April second, we have Persona 5, Persona 5 Steelbook Edition, Persona 5 Take Your Heart Premium Edition. This Persona- Oh, we've got the other one, the Persona 5. Amazon fucking cancelled my pre-order edition. Yes. Oh, did you get- did you get- did you get yours cancelled? Because Aaron didn't. I did get mine cancelled. Did so you? Now, uh, yeah, because I was going to originally get the PS- I was going to import- I was going Because- um, what's oh the name? They told me I was going to be able to get a PS4 edition, Pro edition, but then they cancelled that. Uh, I don't know, but yeah. I'm- 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 I'm, I'm tempted to save up and get the Take Your Heart Premium edition, because- Atlas I'll tell you what, yeah. I might buy a PS4 edition when we go over to Japan next year, just bring, bring it back. Um, like, because Atlas has really good uh, premium edition shit. Remember Catherine's premium edition? Um, I don't remember it, but I remember people saying it was really, like, good quality. You got a pizza box, and inside you got a, um, you got a real pair of underwear that the main character wears. Oh, how, many did, how many did you be honest with me? How many did you buy? I mean, I, I unfortunately, it was very limited, I couldn't get it. Lego City Undercover is coming out on the Nintendo Switch. First, yeah. apparently. Didn't know that. Um, so when's it coming out on everything else? Uh, Drawn to Death, which is that PS4 multiplayer free-to-play shooter um, that has that really cool uh, hand-drawn art style, which I didn't... You know, it's kind of stopped yeah. existing for ages, which is weird. Oh, oh! Bulletstorm full clip is coming out. So the remake of that on the Xbox One. I just say two. Right, that's very good. I'm gonna say four things, and then we're going to literally end the podcast. Right, what's that? What's those four things? Go. Number one. So on Nintendo Switch Reddit has made a Nintendo Switch dock um, out of Nintendo 64, and it looks really good. I'm tempted to buy an old Nintendo 64 just to do that. Yeah. Number two. Um, Echo the Dolphin creator visited Nintendo today. Please, God, let that be what I think it means, because... 
Jesus Christ, that would be great. Number three, Nintendo well, New York. It might be a remake. Yeah, Nintendo New York um, has posted a schedule of Switch sale days today. It's basically when you go and buy a Switch and they've already apparently sold out. And um, well, a couple other things. Um, an hour playing Splatoon 2 on mobile Tether only used 125 megabytes of data. Yeah. And um, with a refresh rate of just 12.5 hertz. Which I guess, is that good? Um, bad. no, it's bad. It's actually bad. It's, um, so I never really experienced it, but, like, games like, uh, CSGO and stuff have a 150 hertz re uh, uh, refresh rate. CSGO, yes, oh, shit. Only... What it means is basically is how often, how many milliseconds it checks where you are and where your opponents are. Okay. So it's not... Not gonna be that great for competitive play, but it might be you know on LAN it will be way better, which uh, is obviously what competitive play. And also play. next Saturday, last piece of news: next Saturday we might be having a special um, Nintendo Switch Direct podcast <laughs> if the 4chan rumors are right. Because apparently, even though it's on April first, so obviously it smells worse than like anything. It have had one on April first before, and also it would make sense because it would be the month in both. Um, Mario Kart 8 comes out and it could be a good time to announce the release date for um, Splatoon and give Splatoon a lot of focus so I'm course and also it's the person who leaked it has did leak the um, entire Switch presentation yeah um, also apparently someone says that Snake Pass looks like a high budget mobile game that's a bit oh man that's the issue with indie games um, what else you know I think that's it actually that's yeah it's been quite a good week this week it's it's the first week where a lot, actually, a lot of interesting stuffs happened. Rumors started coming out. Question, no question though. One last question, yes or no? If G, if Call of Duty World War Two is basically World of War, but World War, you know, basically traditional Call of Duty. Depends if it brings back zombies. It will have zombies. Would it, would you get it? Mm, maybe. I mean, like, I can't really sit down. <laughs> I say I can't play uh, FPS games on console. I also can't really sit down and play an FPS game on PC these days. Like I can play Overwatch. I can play CS:GO. Yeah, the Overwatch has ruined everything for me. It's just like I can I can play those two games and uh, everything else. I don't know. But if they could somehow like get a really downscale version for the Switch, I'm talking like 720p on the on screen, 480p on the fucking thing. Yeah. And I can play zombies like local co-op. I do that. A bit, a bit of lost Alex. Um, anyway, that is the end of today's podcast, Always Sunny in Birmingham, episode two. Hope you enjoyed it. Alessandro has left, and I'm the only one left. We're going to upload that in a minute. And I hope to see you guys next week, where we might have an emergency switch project. That's the podcast, like I said, but he's pretty long. That's a shame, but I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Next week. Most likely in like ten days, because we never do seven days in a row. Bye.